Here is a lovely plate with the uh, roasted tri-tip, potato, and a salad, and a glass of red wine. We'll be using a uh, tri-tip. This is about, what would you say, two to three pounds? piece of tri-tip. Yeah, probably a pound and a half. Or a pound and a half. And it, in this case, this has been pre-seasoned. You can purchase uh, tri-tip pre-seasoned at most grocery stores. And this one happens to already be seasoned. And all we're going to do is put it into a pan. And the pan uh, has a little bit of water at the bottom. And what is the water for? It keeps it the meat moist and um, from over burning. Okay, so there's a handy little tip right there. And so now we're going to uh, take this tri-tip and preheat the oven before putting it in there. Okay, we are now at the oven and we are going to set it to what temperature? 375. We'll wait for it to preheat. Gets to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So the oven is now preheated to 375 degrees and we are ready to put the roast into the oven. Nice looking roast. Middle rack. It's in the middle rack. Put it in the middle rack. So it's evenly heated, right? I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how long will we be leaving the roast in there for? Uh, we're going to leave it for 55 minutes and check it. Okay. So that uh, results in about um, uh, cooked all the way through. And if you like it uh, less cooked through, you can just decrease the time and then just keep checking it to your liking. So we will be back in about 55 minutes or so. So the roast is, has cooked and now we are going to take it out of the oven and check it out. So we're just going to cut through the uh, entire roast first to make sure that it's done the way we like it. So we just kind of slice right through the middle. And take a look inside. And it looks like, is it done nicely? Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are happy with that. And now we will proceed to take it to the cutting board for slicing. smells wonderful. It looks very nice, nicely crispy, cooked on the outside, juicy on the inside. And it will, is now ready for plating. So what we're going to do here is uh, have a dish to go alongside the roast mm -hmm. and we're going to, I believe we're going to be doing potatoes. Yep. Alright, and we'll just let the roast sit rest. there, rest, while we prepare the potatoes. Can't wait. 
chicken here. Uh, we have plated the uh, sliced roasted tri-tip onto a platter and we also prepared some potatoes and all we did was microwave the potatoes. Uh, there's, these are three small potatoes for about a total of how many minutes was it? Uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes total and they come out uh, very tender. You cut them in half and put some butter and uh, maybe some salt and pepper and that makes for a nice little meal and you can also uh, prepare some salad on the side if you like. And we're gonna slice the uh, roast just to show how nice and tender and juicy it is. And we also always feel that a tri-tip roast is never complete without a glass of red wine. And our favorite go-to is a Merlot. And there you are, a lovely slice of tri-tip roast made with potatoes and butter and a glass of Merlot. Can't wait, enjoy. Here we go, bon appetit. Here is a lovely plate with the uh, roasted tri-tip, potato, and a salad, and a glass of red wine. In this case, it happens to be a Merlot. Delicious. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>